Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download soil texture data. Uh, before starting the tutorial, uh, let me give you some ideas about soil texture data. So this uh, soil texture data is important in, uh, for example, in agricultural planning. Uh, during planning crop rotation, selecting suitable crops, determining appropriate irrigation and fertilization practices. So we can use the soil texture data in uh, agricultural planning for uh, this uh, uh, purposes. In case of land use planning, uh, soil texture data is important in determining suitable location for construction. Uh, for urban development and also it can be used for conservation practice uh, and also uh, in addition to this soil texture is important for research and education for example uh, it's used in soil science in hydrology in agricultural study in ecology and other environmental sciences so soil texture is important for uh, this research and education purpose and also it can be used for policy making for form formulate land use policies for conservation programs and regulations related to soil management and environmental protections so i hope uh, you have good understanding about need of the soil texture so let's proceed to the procedures to download the soil texture data so here in the browser search in the search space search write www dot dot i s r i c dot org i will put the link in the, de the description box so you will find such type of results so from here click on the data hub click on data hub and next to that here there is ISRIC soil data hub so click on it so now there are many keywords that indicate you that direct you which data just you need to download so there are many data here the digital soil mapping bulk density texture calcium soil profile ph electrical conductivity carbon nutrient cation exchange capacity nitrogen salinity the water holding capacity organic matter organic so this all are properties of soil so you can use whatever you want for uh, this tutorial i'm going to select the texture click on texture so here there are many uh, filtering mechanisms for example from the keyword texture is selected if if you want to see all the keywords there are many keywords for example if you want to download carbon nutrient water holding capacity you can download uh, whatever you want so here I'm going to select the texture this one is uh, important for me and next to that uh, there are also I'm going to add the spatial resolution in filtering the mechanism I'm going to you can select whatever you want but for this tutorial let me select 250 meter resolution so click on it okay next to that let me select 
the Africa soil grid texture. Click on Africa soil grid texture. So here there is interested stuff here. Uh, this there are 12 texture classes. So we have to just copy them and we have to put them in uh, for in a, for this case let me just paste them in the notepad because uh, this classes will be important will be used in uh, preparation of attribute table so there are 12 classes according to United States Department of Agriculture system uh, classification system there are 12 classes so I have already just copied them next to that let me download for example the first one you can download four dibs from 0 up to zero, uh, 5 centimeter from the dibs of 5 to 15 centimeter so let me select the first one now the download starts Okay, so I have already downloaded, now I have already downloaded the soil texture map. So to visualize the download data, let me open the uh, ArcGIS Pro and add the, the downloaded data. So. This is a, the soil texture data downloaded. So to know there are, as we, uh, as I tell you before, there are 12 soil texture classes. So to identify each classes, click on it. And uh, on symbology, on primary symbology, click on unique values. So when you select this unique values, it will give you all classes separately. Yeah, now we have already the 12 classes. So if you see the attribute table, you will find this 12 classes are the soil texture classes copied in the notepad. So let me open the attribute table. So in the attribute table, the first class, the first class value one is, the texture name is clay. So you can just match the value and the texture name the second class the second value is silt clay the third one is sandy clay uh, the fourth one is clay loam the fifth silty clay loam the sixth so these are the soil texture classes so you can just use for further studies you can use this soil texture Classes, this will texture data for further hydrological or agricultural studies. So this is all about today's class. Please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you.